Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nun. I'm here to do a general love reading for March for you, okay? Um, please keep in mind I do cuss and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on, okay? I do start all my cards out upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I pre-shuffle, lay some cards out just to see what's going on. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Capricorn. Give a fuck, okay? Info for private readings will be below the video. Let's get this shit popping. I asked what was on this person's mind in regards to you, Capricorn. You got the Ace of Cups with the Death card and the Two of Cups reverse. That came out with Nina, Simone, and Muddy Waters. Got the Knight of Swords with Judication. Got the Ten of Wands with the Chariot and Thoughts. So Ten of Wands, Chariot, boom, Thoughts, boom, okay? Six of Pentacles with Prince came out, <clears throat> okay? Off top Capricorn, that Six of Pentacles, I feel like it's you. That's the only damn coins out here, right? Um, you could be dealing definitely with the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, Cancer for sure, Scorpio for sure, I see. Um, so far that's all I see, but you know what? I'm about to stop doing these signs. Like I said, another thing, cause I pull so many fucking cards, yo, like everybody bound to come out. G It's just official situation. It is anyway, moving on. I asked what was on this person's mind in regards to you, Cappy, right? With this ace of cups and this death card and this two of cups reverse, something is over, right? I feel like somebody is trying to end something amicably with somebody and shit. Like there's no denying. Sorry if y'all hear that. It's my dog scraping the bowl for food. It's greedy ass sorry y'all um somebody this is over ain't no denying it right shit is the thrill is gone again shit bb king even though he ain't came out it's over between these two people muddy waters and nina simone somebody just as shocked as the other person like somebody somebody is in awe that they can't believe this shit is over right they're like i thought we was gonna be together forever and shit right this could be a divorce or something like that this judication card came out with this knight of swords if it's not a divorce, this could be like two people that have children, child support involved, something or just a long term relationship where motherfuckers are splitting up like they live together. These people. So these people are in a committed relationship. Basically, somebody wants this shit to like end just amicably like I don't want no smoke. You know what I mean? I don't want no beef and shit. Can we just go to the court, figure this shit out without arguing and talking shit? And you know what I mean? Being all fucked up to each other. Right. Ten of Wands came out with the thought. Somebody's hoping it goes like that, but it ain't going that way, though. Like, you know what I mean? It's a stressful situation, this breakup or separation or whatever the fuck is going on. Somebody was hoping it would go successful with this chariot card, that everything would just end the way that it is, but it ain't going that way. Somebody's making it hard, this separation, breakup, divorce, whatever the fuck. They making it real hard for the other person, right? Six of Pentacles and Prince came out. This Prince card, I didn't really get a song, but remember when Prince wanted to leave what was it rca or whatever record company he was with and they wanted to keep his masters and all his publishing and shit he felt like a slave to this motherfucker like they wanted to take everything from him they didn't want him to own the rights to his music same shit kind of with this cappy is what i'm getting is like somebody you or them is making it hard for the other person for y'all to separate you know what i mean like they want too much or they doing too much or they making shit hard like bitch just take the fucking tv she's like no or he right i don't want the tv i want the love seat the, the dining room table you know what i mean like just taking making it hard like but you know about the love seat in the dining room table you bought the tv bitch take the tv you know what i mean i'll buy a new one somebody is making shit difficult you know what i mean when the other person just wants to kind of part ways and just be like i right, then right somebody don't want to just be like i right, then i get a little bitter vibe from somebody in here capricorn i don't know who it is you or them but somebody whoever this person was that was like i thought we'd be together forever type shit I feel like both people feel like this, but one person just ain't taking it well. They got the muddy waters face like, what you mean <laughs> we breaking up? You know, what you mean divorce? What you mean separation? What you mean child support? And the other person's Nina Simone like, I love you. It's deep love. I'm always, I will always love you, right? Even though they say Whitney Houston, but I feel like it's deep love. Like, you know what I mean? Even with Prince out here, like it's deep. It ain't no hard feelings, Joe. It's just, we don't belong together no more. This shit over. Death card, two of cups reverse. Ain't no hard feelings, right? I feel like they trying to sweat you, Cappy, like for some extra something. You know what I mean? Like, A, making it easy for you. I feel like you the one that's ending up having to give is what I'm thinking. Like, they're making it hard on you is what I'm picking up. But it could be the other way around. You could be doing this to somebody. Let's see how they view you, Capricorn. How's this person view Capricorn? 
high priestess, right? I take this as being the bigger person, not engaging with this knight of swords. Cause remember I told you somebody just wants the shit to be over. Like just let the judge decide why we got to argue and fight and shit. Stop calling me bitch. You know what I mean? Let the judge and the mediators and the lawyers and shit do that shit. So somebody's trying to play this shit real cool is how they viewing you Capricorn. Like just cool. Could be a Pisces or a cancer. I just feel like you're not engaging, Capricorn. You just want this shit to be over. Tower flew out and so did the Page of Swords. Reverse. Like I said, you're not engaging in no arguments or nothing. You literally, you or them, Capricorn, literally just wants this shit to be over. It's just going real bad. This Ten of Wands, this Death card, and this Tower card is not, lets me know that this shit is not going the way that you thought it would go. I feel like this person showing you with this muddy waters face a whole nother side of them. Like, damn, I laid next to this bitch or this dude for however many years, or we had children, we did whatever the fuck, and they acted like this? You know what I mean? Like, who is this motherfucker, right? Who are you? Who, 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 I really want to know, right? I really want to know with this thoughts card. They're like, who the fuck is this? I thought we could have like split up and just been Gucci. You know what I mean? Like we, we be friends, you know what I mean? Amicable, like I said, that shit ain't going this way, Capricorn. This person is like wanting to destroy your fucking world, like real shit. But you ain't engaging though. This is how this person views you. You know what I'm saying? Like every time they come to meet you with the Andale, Andale, Mommy, E-I, E-I, right? The Knight of Swords, you shut them, shut them down, right? With that Knight of Swords, you are not engaging in any type of combative energy with this person, Capricorn. You or them. One on this tower. This is how they view you. Yeah, King of Cups. It's all love, baby, right? I ain't about to, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you or them, Capricorn. Just because this Two of Cups is reversed, that Ace of Cups up there is not reversed. So like I'm saying, there's, that Ace of Cups is like unconditional love. Like I said, y'all were either together a long time, got kids, it's just some committed deep shit. It just ain't working out no more, you know what I mean? Nothing, no hard feelings, bitch, right? No hard feelings, you know what I mean? But the King of Cups just ain't emotionally involved anymore is what I'm feeling. Like, he just kind of is like over it. Like, I'll always love you. Whitney Houston is what I keep hearing, but it ain't like that. You know what I mean? Like, so since this is unconditional love, I feel like we could just separate and shit be cool. Why I got to be all like this? Why you got to destroy my clothes and, you know what I mean, do all this fuck shit? You know what I mean? Why you got to do all that, right? Still ain't reacting, no Capricorn, you or them. Somebody still ain't engaging in that shit. Kudos to you. Motherfucker got mad patience because you start touching my fucking belongings. It's going to be some smoke in the fucking city like Bernie Mac said. Don't touch my shit. <laughs> Somebody getting their shit touched and fucked up is what I'm picking up on. High Priestess. Somebody taking the bigger route, though. Like I said, you or them Capricorn. Somebody ain't saying shit. Like, here, bitch, just take the fucking TV. Like, just go. I'll give you whatever you want. Just leave me alone is what I'm picking up on. It's how they're viewing you, Capricorn. So they're viewing you as trying to get rid of their ass, basically. Like, nothing that they can do is provoking you to go into that low vibe. You know what I'm saying? That low vibration shit. You stay in, like, high vibe on your shit. You just, like, please just take your shit and get the fuck on. Tower. How this person views Capricorn. Could be a Scorpio, like I said, for sure. Water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius out here. You still ain't really popped out except for this, the Ace of Pentacles and that Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this is you, Capricorn, like telling them, please take your shit and go, bitch. You can even have some extra shit. Did you want me to make you a sandwich on your way out, bitch? Something. Here, take it. Just go, right? I don't want to fuck with you no more. That's that Six of Pentacles. They don't want to just walk out like that. They don't want to say I bet got a bigger pool than Kanye, right? <laughs> Bad Health came out with this tower card. This shit is not... This shit is ending really, really bad, Capricorn. Like, I feel like you're surprised at how this is taking a turn between you and this person. Like, I feel like you are genuinely fucking shocked that this person is acting this way just because you guys are going through divorce, separation, breakup, split up, whatever the fuck. You are surprised at this person's attitude. May male. Yeah, you are surprised at this person's attitude. This person is, is like saying fucked up shit to you, Capricorn. You saying fucked up shit to, to them. However it's going. I don't know. But I feel like you are being, like I said, the bigger person and not engaging with this main male and this damn page of swords reverse. Even though they keep coming at you with this knight of wands and shit. I just keep getting that they view you as the bigger person. Like you're not engaging in this bullshit. Uh-oh. What was that? Joni Mitchell never lied. 
right? That was gonna, I was going to put something on the high priestess. Yeah. Your intuition is telling you, like, don't engage. You're the bigger person, right? Don't even, Joni Mitchell never lie. You know what you know, Capricorn. Get rid of this motherfucker. Like, you, like I feel like this is saying, like, you can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you like, right? On that T.I. shit. Like, you can have it. Please just go, is what I keep hearing, Capricorn. I don't know if this is you or them, but somebody is like, bitch, you can have my kidney if you want this motherfucker. Just get the fuck on. Right. Somebody making it so hard, but maybe it's because they really don't want to leave Capricorn or you don't really want to leave. And so you just making it really hard. But can I just say this, G, like if your intention to not let this person leave is because you want this person back, you're doing the opposite. Right. You're making this person want you to go even more. If your intention is just to make this person's life hell because y'all breaking up, you're doing a damn good job, Capricorn. Right. It depends on what outcome you're looking for, G. If you're looking for to get this motherfucker back, this is not the way to go, G. But if you're looking for it just to, like, make this person miserable, which I kind of don't condone because this looks like it's taking a lot of energy out of the person who's making just, like, who don't want to just take their shit and go. I mean, shit, you succeeding. But they say misery loves company, right? That's what this shit is. Misery loves company. That's why they don't want to let the other person go. They don't want to let the other person go so they can... Because they fear that the other person will go on, move on with their life, chariot, successful. You know what I mean? Find some shit that kind of evens them out. You know what I mean? Get the, whatever they're looking for. They'll get it reciprocated back. Real love with Prince here. You know what I mean? So somebody doesn't want somebody to be happy without them is what I'm picking up on. So it could be a number of reasons why this person doesn't. But somebody's still walking away. Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the Dizak, right? Let's see how they feel about you, Cappy. How's this person feel about Capricorn? Five of Cups, right? Somebody's sad about this shit being over, OVA, right? Somebody's sad about this shit. That's what I'm saying. Whoever the person is that's making it hard for the uh, for you, Capricorn, to leave or is, is just making shit di extra difficult, right, putting all the extras on it, it's because, number one, they don't really want you to leave, right? They, Like I said, Muddy Waters face, they thought this shit was going to last forever, right? Five of Cups came out with this Page of Cups. Five of Cups and Page of Cups is Six of Cups. So this is some relationship that's been, uh, like, uh, around for a while you know what i'm saying this was some committed shit y'all went way back this ain't no new relationship so somebody taking this shit extra fucking hard capricorn this is how they feel about you four swords came out let me put another one out here yeah they fucking drain like i said whoever this is this person is that's making it hard for the other person to leave and just causing all extra chaos and drama and shit they are so fucking drained, man. That's what I'm saying. It's taking you more energy to try to, like, fight this motherfucker than just take your TV and leave, G. Just take your shit and go. Like, it's draining you. You know what I mean? You're missing out on your own shit. You or them, Capricorn. But it's because this person is so fucking sad. All they know how to do is, like, kind of be angry and, like, kind of be combative. You know what I mean? They don't know how to express the fact that they're hurt that this relationship is over. This is what's going on here. This is how they feel about you. Could be a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini for sure. How this person feels about you, they feel like shit. This motherfucker may change their mind. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they, they'll realize they're making a bad decision by us breaking up with this lover's card and this three of cups here. That's why I said, I, that must have been why I was led to say what I said before. If whoever this is for, whoever is making Capricorn's life hard or Capricorn, whoever's life you're making hard, because, you know what I mean, just it's because you're sad. You don't want them to go. You're hoping you'll change their mind. But I'm telling you, this ain't going to work, G. It's not going to work. You get more, well, they say, bees with honey, right, than you do with vinegar. You get an all vinegar, G. This is this four of wands and this five of, uh, I mean, this five of wands and this four of swords, this is all vinegar, right? Four of swords is you not catching shit, right? Ain't nothing happening, right? Four of swords is blocked. Nothing. You're getting the opposite effect. So I don't know. I feel like this other person is done, Capricorn, you or them. I don't feel like there is no fight left in this relationship. Somebody just needs to come to grips that this shit is kind of over, G, is what I'm getting. They just taking it real hard. So I feel kind of bad for this person. The star, yeah, they hoping that y'all motherfuckers can reconcile and shit. Like, they don't want this shit to break up. But instead of them saying, Capricorn, can we try to please work this shit out, G? Like, I love you. Don't leave. They like... Well, then I'm going to take everything you fucking have then. And you better, you know what I mean? Like they just doing the opposite. But it's because they don't know how to emotionally express themselves. Like they say when little boys pull little girl's hair to show that they like them and shit. This is the equivalent of that. Instead of saying, hey, 
You know what I'm saying? Nicole, I love you. I like you. He pulls Nicole's hair. You know what I mean? But we at this age where you pull Nicole's hair and shit, Nicole, take that as fucking assault, right? I don't want to fuck with you, right? That's assault, bitch, right? It's, you're not getting the outcome that you want, Capricorn or Crosswatcher. Could be an Aquarius, too. This is how they feel about you, Capricorn. Lovers, five of cups. That's way too many. I'm going to take the one that flipped over. Message. Yeah, I feel like this person is hoping you'll change your mind and say something. Like, if it's what you want, say something, say something. The person who doesn't want the person to leave is hoping that the person who is leaving says, like, hey, I changed my mind. Let's work it out. But that ain't going to happen, G. You know what I'm saying? If this is what you want, Capricorn, or the other person, you need to say something. And I'm not, listen, this is the disclaimer at the bottom of what the fuck I just said, right? If you want something to happen, Capricorn or Crosswatcher, you're going to need to say something. The person that's leaving is not going to say anything. But here's the disclaimer. That does not mean you're going to get this motherfucker back just because you say something. I feel like this person has made up their mind that they are gone, right? They gone. They just trying to do it smooth, you know what I mean? And, like, not being no, like, bullshit and shit and have no fuck shit go on. One on this five of wands. This is the energy somebody's exerting. Yeah, like, somebody's expecting to get a gift out of all this damn chaos and, like, this damn bad juju they putting on this shit. You know what I mean? And that's not what's going to happen. This motherfucker's not going to change their mind if you keep fucking. I don't think they're going to change their mind, period. But if your hopes, Capricorn or Crosswatcher, is for this person to change their mind and want to come back and work this out with you, the bad health card is out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, the tower, the death card. Like, I don't feel it's going to happen, G. This person doesn't even want to engage. I feel like you are a... Uh, Maybe y'all got back together a few times in this situation. Like, it's always y'all got back together, but somebody is like, they're done. You know what I mean? They just want to separate and go their separate ways, Capricorn. You or them. One on the star in the page of cups, because this is them wanting to reconcile. I knew they did. I knew that's what they wanted. Wouldn't nobody act out? If somebody was, like, really ready to leave somebody and shit, they would just leave, G. Like, yeah, I'm going to take my fucking TV and get ghosts. I ain't fucking with you, right? Yep, Amy Winehouse. Now I'm about to cause a scene like I'm Amy Winehouse, but they tried to make me go to rehab, but I said, no, 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 right? Somebody will not accept the fact that this relationship is over. I'm trying to, somebody Capricorn, you could be like, look, Amy, right? I just named fucking Aries Amy. That was the name of they reading. You could be like, look, this shit is over. You know what I mean? Like I want us to separate. And somebody's like, no, no, no. And the other person's like, look, you'll be fine without me. I'm sure you'll find somebody else that you love. Let me go on and just do my thing. Let's just do this. We'll always be friends. The other person's like, no, no, no. Right? Somebody is like, does not want this to let this shit go, Capricorn. They are resisting the end of this shit is what's going on. And that's why they causing all this chaos with the five of wands. It's not that they trying to make your life a living hell, Capricorn. They really want y'all to fix this shit. They just don't know how to say it. They're angry and upset and sad. You know what I mean? They just don't know how to express the shit. On the gift, yeah, Kurt Cobain. This person is distraught, depressed, and they're acting out. You know what I mean? You might want to check on this person's mental state if it ain't already fucked. You know what I mean? But I feel like this person's in a bad state, Capricorn. This person's in a bad uh, frame of mind right now in regards to this separation, divorce, breakup, whatever the fuck this is, this person is not taking it well. And that's why they are acting out the way that they are. So I don't know how far this person will go. The person who's acting out because they could get to the point where they just fucking flip and lose their mind. Kurt Cobain and just Amy Winehouse, like motherfuckers, that's two crazy motherfuckers. Like, I don't know what they going to do. I already feel like somebody getting their shit destroyed a little bit. Like this person could up the ante, Capricorn. I hope they don't. You or them. That's pretty fucking childish and you won't get this motherfucker back. Guaranteed. And if the motherfucker do go back to you, well, then y'all motherfuckers deserve each other because you stupid as fuck too to go back to some shit that's like, you know what I'm saying, you really don't want to be in. But this person is like kind of punking you back in, bullying you back in. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to break up with this person, I feel. You know what I mean? And just kind of cut the ties right away. Stop stringing them along if that's what you're doing. I don't know what's going on. But there's a reason why this either this person can't let go because they are like mentally distraught and in denial or this person is being led on by you, Capricorn, or you're doing this to them or they're doing this to you. Excuse me. And this person is confused. And so that's why they're acting out. Either way, they don't want to end this relationship. But, gee, come on, man. I don't know. Anyway, Capricorn, that's been your reading for March. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Capricorn. Give a fuck. Thank you still for visiting my channel and my trip in the Tarot. 
My name is Cock Frost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Info for private readings will be below the video, okay? Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.